Yo guys and welcome to yet another video on my channel. Now today we're going to a 2x2 two two base design. Pretty simple stuff. I've done a lot of bunker bases, a lot of stuff like that. I just wanted to take it simple, go to a 2x2 two two base design and see if I could perfect it and give it as much storage as possible. Now in this base, I literally go from using large boxes to small boxes to campfires to vending machines and even tuna lamps for that little bit of extra storage. Literally taking up all room possible. Now looking at the cost of this base, as you can see, it is super cheap as you expect from a 2x2 two two base design. If you continue to add honeycomb in and more stuff like that to the 2x2 two two base design, obviously the prices will go up. I've only got one layer of honeycomb in on this 2x2 two two at the moment of this base build. Now also one thing that could make it easier for you to build this base and upkeep it is you could upgrade everything to metal instead of using stone whatsoever. I didn't want to do this in the video though since I knew I'd get comments mentioning how it's easier to raid through the doors than sheet metal so there's no point upgrading to sheet metal and just use stone. However I thought I'd put this point out there since that's what I would probably end up doing. Right now moving on to the walkthrough of the base. Now keep in mind this is how I would have the base. I do actually show you how to make it into a bunker later on. Now coming through the airlock we have a sheet door then a garage door. Now the rest of the doors throughout the base are actually garage doors however I have them open to save time. Now moving into this first square as you can see I have three furnaces, three small boxes, one vending machine and a large box here. So loads of storage to drop box, smelt your stuff and all that good stuff. Moving into this two by one on the end of it, we have four vending machines, as many large boxes as you need, and there's two hidden campfires in the corner, as well as loads of small boxes. And then in the main TC room, we have a hidden campfire, two small boxes, two sleeping bags, and two vending machines. As you can see, the hidden campfire is just down here, so you can hide some juicy loot in that, and that's very non-visible to raiders who are trying to get in and out really fast. But let's not waste any more time, and get straight into the base build. Now to start off by building this base, obviously you just want a two by two down out of square foundations. Now around those square foundations, all you wanna do is pretty simple, just add triangle foundations attached to every square foundation. Then on top of those triangle foundations, we're gonna add four walls all of the way around, apart from right here where we're gonna add a double doorway. Once you've done that, just start by adding the triangle roofs and then obviously adding the square roofs so you fully seal off the roof. Now on the inside you can add these single door frames all the way around where the triangle honeycomb in is. We're going to be adding vending machines in there later on and also you can add in this single full wall right here. Now once you've done that you just want to go to the roof and where it's a 2x2 two two, you want to add half walls all the way around and then ceilings on top. This will add a layer of honeycomb on the roof. Now with everything we've just placed, you can actually upgrade to stone. Keep in mind that will obviously change the cost of the build compared to what I said at the start of the video. But I would obviously recommend upgrading this to sheet metal and if you even want to, some of the inner core to high quality metal, but that is not needed. Next, you just want to go throughout the base and everywhere you can place a double door frame, just place one. So in the core and towards the outer side of the base. Then coming out the front entrance of the base, we want to place down a triangle foundation right here with a double door frame on it once again. Then coming off the triangle foundation, a square foundation with a stair set coming down off of it. And then on the square foundation, just three more double door frames to fully cover it up. And then finally, we want to add a triangle and a square roof on top of what we've just built so it's all covered. Now what we've just built, you can upgrade this to to stone however if you want to upgrade it to sheet metal so you only have one type of upkeep in the base that's totally up to you however i'm going to leave it as stone so people don't get annoyed in the comments next we need to fully seal up the base so start off with this double sheet door at the front and then two shop fronts then throughout the base on every double door frame we're just going to place garage doors throughout Then finally in the single door frames we're going to go throughout all of them and place vending machines sticking outwards so you can loot them and they're not the wrong way around. Also once you've got all your vending machines down I'd recommend on disabling on the map. Like that's one thing I'd recommend on doing 100% go around and disable all of them. Now one tactic you could actually do if you want to mislead raiders is you could leave one vending machine up and put in something like a bow for sale, some wood, some stone tools and people might not think you're geared so if your base is hidden in a cliff people aren't really going to come and check it out. The only problem is, of course, if someone does come and check it out and sees that your shop front isn't even sticking out the base, they might think you have more in the base and might make you more of a raidable target, especially since you're a sheet metal base. 
And now onto the item placement. We're gonna start off by putting a campfire in every corner where there's two vending machines just like this. Where they're gonna place the TC down in the right corner of the TC room with the level two workbench next to it. Next, we're gonna place this small box under the level two. Now push it to the right, but not too far. And then once it's placed, make sure you can reach this campfire under the level two still. Then we're gonna move on to these two sleeping bags, this small box and this campfire. Now with the main loot room, we're just gonna place five large boxes along this two by one floor tile section, just like I am doing currently. And then if you've placed them correctly like I have, you can fit loads of small boxes down this side, four to be exact, so just fit all of those in. Now with this final square, we're going to place three furnaces flush against the wall, just like I'm doing, make sure none of them stick out. If none of them stick out, you can place this large box down here whilst still fitting in a small box right here, and then obviously put in two small boxes at the front. Also, another thing you could do is you could put a tuna lantern down just like I am doing. Not only does this save one storage space since you could put your low grade in it, also you know where your low grade is at all times. So you can obviously go over there whenever you need to craft meds and grab it out super fast. Also, one more thing about this base is if you want to rotate the vending machines around and you can't, you just need to move the small boxes out of the way just like I'm doing. Personally, I don't want to do that since if someone raids from the outside, they get to my loot faster and they might get to the best loot super fast and then leave. Also, if they get TC, they can just rotate them all anyway. So I just use them as storage and I'm not really thinking about them being like an awkward thing to loot, but you can do that if you want to do so. Now the final thing I want to show you with this base is how to turn it into a bunker if you want to do so, however this does make the base weaker technically since they can go through one foundation and get straight to the bunker, however if you want to do more honeycombing maybe this is the route for you. But start off by taking everything off like I am currently doing and you should end up at a point like this. To make the entrance to the bunker, obviously you just want to add this low triangle and then these two high triangles next to it. Then with the high triangles, you want to make sure they're sheet metal. And then obviously since now the shop is exposed or the vending machine, you want to seal that off with a half wall. And then on the other side, we want to do these two four walls with a roof on top of it. Now after that, we want to do another half wall on top of the vending machine location and then a door front here and then seal off the roof. And then just stone up the double door frame, sheet the rest that we just placed, all the twig. And then when it comes to this triangle down here, that's actually the entrance. You can actually just make that stone if you want to, since that's not really an important one. If they get to that, they're already deep in your base. And then finally add a half wall here with a half wall on top. Make the top one sheet and then you can remove the bottom one. And obviously that's the entrance and the exit to your bunker. The only thing with this design is you will have to remove one of these small boxes because obviously now they're in the way and you can't crouch out under your bunker. However, once it's out of the way, it's nice and easy to do so. The only thing I do really like about this bunker design is right here, you can actually have two drop boxes. Just make a shelf like I'm doing and then put the two boxes on. And obviously you just want to recreate the airlock right here with the square foundation, the two shot fronts, the sheet door and the stairs. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the only problem with this upgrade to the base is if they remove this, they're straight into the bunker. You won't have a door there anymore. There'll just be a wood half wall that you'll usually pick out. Or if you're online roaming, there'll be no half wall there. So technically, they get deeper into your base for cheaper. So this is why I personally wouldn't do this upgrade unless you're planning on expanding quite a bit. Well, anyway guys that's been it for the full base build for this video as you probably noticed if you watched my previous videos i did actually edit this one slightly differently one with the little extension at the end of showing you how to build it into a bunker i'm probably going to leave that in because i 100 like adding that also with the intro i did it a little bit differently with the walkthrough and just the intro in general do you guys like me doing the walkthrough telling you what's in the base or do you guys like watching the full build and seeing what's in the base that way comment down below which one you like better but anyway, if you did go on to enjoy the video or like the video, be sure to drop a like and a subscribe down below. It really does help me out and make sure you do tell me what you liked about the base because then I can actually add that and incorporate that in my future base designs to make those stronger, better and more enjoyable for you to watch and learn about. Also, if there's anything you didn't like about the base build, be sure to drop a dislike, feel free to do so. But just make sure you comment down below telling me what's bad about the base so I can actually improve it. Like I do like having negative feedback sometimes or constructive criticism since it does help me make my base builds in the future better. And finally, if you do want to support me even more, go follow my Twitter, my Instagram and my Twitch where I stream Rust daily as much as possible. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thanks for my future videos and peace out.